Hey, what's going on everybody? Small Waffles here. Today, I got a tips and tricks video geared towards newer players. If you've just picked up the game, or you're maybe still struggling to get kills and wins, then this video will hopefully help you. This list is in no particular order, and without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about, and is something that can make a big difference in your games, is movement. When playing PUBG, you want to move as much as possible. A trend you will quickly notice with some of the best players is that they jump and constantly move in combat. Jumping while you're sprinting and moving side to side will make you significantly harder to hit. And you should also know that you can climb up almost anything, meaning you can go through second story windows, scale buildings, and easily climb on top of roofs. Fluid, dynamic movement is really your key to success in Tab G. Couple this skill with certain blessings like jump, speed, or dash, and you will find yourself dying a lot less. Movement is key, but you're probably wondering how you're supposed to kill people while moving around so much. And that's where my next tip comes in, and that is hip fire often. You can very effectively and accurately hit shots with almost any weapon in close to medium range combat while hip firing. So basically, in most engagements you have, you want to be jumping, moving, and hip firing as much as possible. I'm not saying you should never ADS, as there are plenty of moments where you should, such as when you're sniping, taking long range engagements, or when you need that extra bit of precision to land a headshot. But hip firing will become your best friend once you get used to it. It allows you to stay on the move, making you much harder to kill, while you can still easily get kills. The next thing I highly recommend you check out, especially if you're new, is the firing range. Here you will find almost every weapon, attachment, and blessing laid out for you to experiment with. I would suggest reading through some of the blessings so you can get an idea of what they do. You should also check out some different weapons. Shooting these red boxes will spawn varying difficulties of enemies that chase and try to kill you. These make for decent practice shooting moving targets. You should also check out the damage analyzer attachment, which although it doesn't have an icon yet, it attaches here on any weapon. Then you can shoot these dummies to test out the different damage weapons do. Note that leg and arm shots do less damage than the torso or obviously the head. So generally you want to aim for the upper center mass going for headshots and body shots. Landing just one or two headshots in a spray is going to kill someone significantly faster. And obviously headshots with most sniper rifles are going to one shot, unless they've got something crazy like legendary health. And some weapons, like the flintlock, have large damage falloff, meaning that they won't one shot past a certain distance, so keep that in mind. When you're looting, you generally want to pick up all of the meds, ammo, and grenades that you see. If you're looting someone you killed, you probably want to hit tab to see their inventory of items on the ground, and right click everything you want. You can also press Z to lay down first, which is sometimes better than standing still while you loot. Otherwise, it's normally faster and safer to pick up loot off the ground with F. Don't be afraid to throw your grenades, and learn what grenades are best for different situations. For example, a knockback or implosion grenade is really good for getting an easy kill on someone because it basically prevents them from fighting back. Shield and healing grenades are super good for reviving allies, and tower or cage grenades can provide cover in sticky situations. And the last tip I can give you is just to practice. Tab G is a hard game to learn because of its wacky physics and fast paced gameplay. So experiment with different weapons and find out what works best for you. Basically every weapon in the game is viable in one way or another. And with the addition of blessings, the sky truly is the limit. So don't be afraid to try new things and don't give up. This game has a bright future and you should be a part of it. Wow. 